Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, I wanted to start this off with, uh, I found this interesting. This is my five days ago or so. I just, I just saw it on Twitter. Uh, this is what uh, Warren Moser's um, response to the Green Party uh, platform. Um, actually, as, you, as you can see, that's what he puts on comments on the Green, Green Party platform. And I think she's very specific, obviously. Uh, does M for uh, money, I guess, the national debt. Uh, fairness, uh, fairness for our children and grandchildren. Now, th this is where, <laughs> this is why I left uh, the Green Party, because they are they're they're trying to become mainstream but you don't want to become mainstream in that way uh as as i'm going to read out to what warren said um greens will reduce our national debt uh, the national debt is a, in fact a broad measure of the money supply in the economy it is the dollars spent by the government that had that have not yet been used to pay taxes those dollars are in form in the form of actual cash and bank deposits in the accounts at the Federal Reserve Bank. U.S. Treasury bonds, notes, and bills are nothing more than time deposits, savings accounts at the Fed. The only thing the U.S. owes when Treasury bonds mature, for example, is to debit debt security account and credit. A reserve account, all at the Fed. Think of it as shifting the dollars from savings to checking, no taxpayers or grandchildren involved. I'm guessing this is like snippets from his, um, which one was it? Soft currency, I think. Um, it was the only thing, oh, duh, I've already said that. So think of what you are proposing as eliminating the money supply and you can understand why each time the public debt has been reduced, a serious depression or the recession followed. Our nation is in debt because our privatization privatized Federal Reserve and monetary system only creates and issues money uh, as debt through loans. The government must constantly, uh, constantly borrow more money due to the shortfall in tax revenue, thus steady increase in the national debt. First, the Fed is an agent of Congress as per the Res Federal Reserve Act. All its profits go to the treasury and all decisions are made by his by its political appointees who answer to congress second guess the treasury has to borrow but only as a matter of policy set by congress something left over from the gold standard now, evidently this is uh warren's um comment uh, i just read what i just read the middle portion of what the green, green said uh does, uh uh, but since the dollars that can be used to pay taxes come, can come only from government through its agents, a close examination of Fed monetary operations shows that the government as a whole must uh, spend first before taxes, and taxes can be paid. So what happens is the Fed is always standing by to lend to the primary securities dealers to facilitate their purchases of securities from the Treasury. So the Fed is standing by as uh, standing by as needed to spend first, after which those dollars can be used to buy securities from oops, securities from the Treasury. That's uh, securities from the Treasury. That's why there's never been any kind of problem financing the debt, as they say. Our national debt, I guess this is, okay, no, uh, yeah, this is what they say. Uh, our national debt has grown by trillions of dollars to finance tax cuts for Americans, wealthy citizens, war, uh, war corporate welfare, and bailouts of Wall Street and the autom automotive industry. The burden of the increasing annual interest payments on the debt falls disproportionately on working people and the small business community it is not sustainable. Warren, first, I propose a permanent zero rate policy so there never will be an interest payments. Second, the channel, is, the channel for that burden would be the tax structure, which Congress continuously modifies for fairness regardless of the composition of the government spending. Green solution. One, reduce our national debt. 
as above, I see no reason to shrink the money supply and most likely collapse the economy uh, by increasing taxes on large corporations and polluters. The first, large corporations pass through uh, tax increases to consumers so that a highly regressive policy hurting the lowest income, income earners the most. Uh, eliminating loopholes for the super rich. That should be done through a through a doesn't uh, alter the, uh, their spending, so it doesn't make room for others to spend. Okay, hold on. That should be done, though it doesn't alter their spending, so it doesn't make room for others to spend. It's all once. Uh, anyway, uh, and decreasing expenditures in some areas, especially for war uh, armaments. I specify details on what you'd cut, you'd like to cut. Uh, a corporate welfare, oh, and corporate welfare, well, welfare excuse me. Uh, same here, best to spe specify a few examples. Everyone's heard of these generalities for a long time. They don't have any credibility without detail. That, that would be true. Uh, pay off the national debt as it comes due when green, greening the dollar is implemented. As above, this comes from a lack of understanding of monetary operations. N, uh, monetary reform, uh, greening the dollar, a uh, green public money future. The crisis in our financial uh, system makes it Im imperative that we in, uh, restructure our monetary system. The present system of private, privatized money issuance and control has resulted in, mis in a misdirection of our financial resources to speculate uh, toxic financial instruments and loans that create huge profits and wealth for the corporate few, but inadequate income and jobs for the common people. Uh, and Warren's response to seems uh, that actually comes from government regulation and supervision and not the actual monetary operations. I have a list of proposals that directly addresses these issues. It's not a matter of restructuring the monetary system. Uh, it is both possible and necessary for Congress to take back its exclusive constitutional power to create our money, Article 1, Section 8, without the creation of debt. That's an oxymoron. Has any money, uh, as any money the state will accept for tax payment is accounted for as a liability of the state and therefore a debt, which is what today's dollars are. And okay, this he should really, he, to me, well, he should really like go through the whole thing and then reference which portion. This is kind of confusing to me anyway, but maybe I'm just the only one. Anyway, uh, so da -da. okay, now I just okay, uh, and assuming the responsibility to spend this money directly into circulation to find our fund public benefits outlining in the federal budget. Uh, closing examination shows that for all practical purposes, this is already the case. Uh, only with public money system can the government direct our national wealth to the needs of the people through their local and state governments. Uh, he says it can be done and is done at all the time at Congress through all kinds of grants and assistance. A public money system will en enable millions of good livelihoods uh, provide sufficient incomes. Now, again, I believe this is the Green Party, or a, uh, according to their platform. Uh, Warren again, it already does. That and policy can be put in place to do as much at, of that as desired. Shrink the debt burden, as above, not a good idea. And begin to close the wealth gap. My proposals do exactly with that with our current monetary system. Public money has not been issued since the greenbacks issued by President Lincoln in 1862 and circulated as public money until 1971. Uh, Warren says, our cash in circulation is the same thing. To reverse the private control of issuing, issuing our na uh, national nation's money. It's under public control via the Federal Reserve Act. To reverse the immoral and undeserved con concentration uh, of national wealth and income resulting from that private control. Um, that's them. Uh, this is Warren, it looks like, resulting from direct congressional policy. 
Green Party to place control over money with a more equitable public system of government checks and balances and to end the regular uh, recurrence of severe and disruptive financial crises that mark the booms and buzz cycles of capitalism. From Warren, I have proposals to sustain full employment at all times. Yeah, I believe that would be a, the uh, job guarantee. Uh, the Green Party proposes the following three, th three public money solutions to be enacted together. One, nationalize the 12 Federal Reserve Banks and transfer administrative functions of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors to Bureau of U.S. Treasury. They, already, uh, they are already branches of the Fed, which is already ent uh, entirely a public bank. Uh, see, they say all money created under nationalization, uh, nationalized Federal Reserve system will be treated as a, pub a publicly issued money. The private creation of money will cease, and with it, the reckless practice that have led to re to recurring uh, economic crisis. Let's see. Warren says, you are calling for an end to bank lending. My, my proposal is dramatically narrow the scope of bank lending, but it doesn't, but don't eliminate uh, home mortgage, uh, et cetera. Uh, let's see, number two on that. Uh, all new money will be issued as a debt-free, permanent, permanently circulated asset by the federal government. Warren says, that describes a permanent zero-rate policy which I have long proposed. Uh, they say, a new public monetary authority will be established under the Department of Treasury to scientifically determine the amount of money that can be safely created for the national economy to avoid inflation or deflation. Uh, Warren says, there, that is already being done by the CBO and Fed forecasters. There's no other way to, to do it that I know of. Uh, Green Party says, the Monetary Authority will be empowered with full autonomy and independence to avoid political influence. Warren says, a fourth branch of government, elected officials, how do you keep it from getting uh, politicized? Uh, they say, all, uh, although banks will continue as financial intermediaries, lending publicly issued money at interest and performing traditional banking functions will no longer be allowed to create money, ending what is known as fractional reserve banking. Uh, Warren says that ending when we went off the gold standard, banking today isn't reserve constrained as it was then. Uh, and... Okay, another, another piece, it looks like maybe the last measure. Special guidance by a progressive, publicly controlled monetary authority can be found in the bill already entered into the U.S. Congress, H.R. 2990, 112th Congress, National Emergency Employment Defense Act of 2020, uh, uh, 2011, Need Act. And Warren says, haven't seen it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to look at that myself. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, all new money will be spent into circulation by the U.S. government and authorized by Congress for a pur public purpose. That, that's already been that's already being done. And so far, I've seen roughly five things that are already being done, uh, and two that shouldn't be done. Anyway, uh, so the. the this includes funding uh, a 21st century infrastructure, including uh, in education and health and healthcare. Warren says this can just uh, this can just as easily be done right now under current institutional arrangement. Per capita spending quality uh, guidance for new money will uh, assure a fair distribution across the nation, creating good livelihoods and reinvigorating local economies and funding government at all levels. Newly created money will also be distributed directly to the state and local governments. He says, and I say, already the case and can be expanded by Congress within the current institutional structure. Okay, so let's see. Free, free to distribute this response. Thanks, Warren. Uh, I guess you know, in a way, I'm already doing that, doing this. So there you go. 
So, so, so I'm looking at this and I'm remembering the uh, webinar I, I helped put together. Uh, it was, I think, January 6th. I'm not, I think it was January 6th. I mean, it was, it was it kind of been the same day as, uh, as oh, no, 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 no. Um, Oh, it's January 6th, it was January 5th, so it was the day before. Um, Warren Moser was uh, was gracious enough to do a uh, somewhat like, I think like two and a half hours or something like that uh, webinar that did maybe a half hour of, of a story uh, he wanted to talk, uh, but this was uh, primarily for the Green Party um, because that's that was the party I was with as far as the part goes. And I saw in the chat that a lot of them were arguing and not trying to learn. Um, then uh, a representative here in Ohio uh, sent me what looks to be an article from the Green Party, uh, their website from like a couple years ago, uh, so-called explain what MMT was. And so basically we disagreed on everything as far as the park goes and i mean this is the guy who pretty much we architectured it so and he's going in this one he's going step by step by step by step and and yeah actually a, a, a couple of them a couple of, of the things i i read out and they don't have a lot of um details with it same thing with democrats uh, the one difference is Republicans are so much better at actually getting their shit done. The two are basically talking a lot of shit, but have no have no actual plan behind it and how to execute it. Um, anyways, and also Democrats uh, rely on the mansions, the cinemas, you know, the the um, especially in the fifty fifty Congress, uh, they rely on those. Um, Enemies, uh, if, uh, not enemies, I'm sorry. No, uh, basically people who don't want what majority of the, uh, Americans want because they themselves personally in some way benefit from the current system. So given that fact and given the fact that the, the, the one that is so involved in the industries that are creating the problem is in charge of the committee that is supposed to regulate this problem. Then it comes out, I think yesterday, and complains about, let me see if I can go to the, uh, uh, this might be right here. Complains that the taxing, which is, I mean, Taxation is only to get money out of the economy. It's not to use it. And he he looks at the at the whole thing as inflationary. Well, if you if you if you spend money in order to make things cheaper, that uh, long run is deflationary because those things are going to cost less for a longer time and last longer, keeping the cost uh, maintenance of those things down. But he doesn't want to look at it that way. He wants to look at how much money is going in his pocketbook and a, and a the supposed DNC slash RNC pocketbook to, in order to keep the two powers in power. And this is why I keep saying that we need the people to get in touch with their local ranked choice voting and local um, open primary organization. If there are one, if there's one in your state, join them. Get this done. If you want actual change, if you want actual change, you'll you'll get out there on your spare time when you're not at school, work, whatever. Take the kids, you know that sort of thing. You know it's kind of like a family friendly thing because it involves your kids too in regards to like voting and you know allowing them to be able to learn the process, you know the the civic process, that sort of thing. Because schools, as far as I know, about no longer teach that. At least it, they weren't in the '90s when I went to school. Anyway, so let's see. Uh, Senator Joe Manchin roiled his budget talks with his with uh, Democrat leaders. A new one, uh, wait, there's a new okay. A new Wednesday saying the latest inflationary surge makes him more cautious that are cautious than ever before or uh, than ever been about agreeing to federal spending increasing that could drive consumers' costs even higher. 
the lack of manufacturing and the fact that we still send a lot of our money I'll spend a lot in trading because of sanctions on both sides of the, uh, of the ocean, both China in here and Canada in here and Mexico in here. You know, uh, the, la the last two is not ocean to ocean, more like borders to borders, but still, uh, you charge them more for bringing shit in. They're not going to feel the pain. We as consumers, spenders, the people who, you know, get paid and put the money back in the economy, we actually pay for that. We we pay for the taxes and a lot of other stuff. So taxations actually hurt middle class and the lower income. It doesn't. It doesn't really bother really the uh, the upper class and middle upper class. A lot of times they got the write off or they're like, okay, well we got the money, no problem. Anyway, so let's see. Uh, the West Virginian Democrat or West Virginia Republican for us, who has since handed or handedly killed Democrats' roughly $2 trillion 10 year social and environmental bill before Christmas, has been bargaining with Senate Majority Leader uh, Chuck Schumer, the way they're going to soon be a minority leader, Chuck Schumer, over a new econ uh, economic package that would be around half, the, half that size. But Manchin said grim new inflation figures mean, uh, meant the uh, energy tax and health and health co uh, compromise he's been discussing with New York Democrat mu uh, must be reviewed. He's talking about inflation. One of the things that is involved in this whole bill is the lower and the uh, giving the negotiation power to Medicare to be able to buy or negotiate down the um the medication that people get uh it, i don't think there's a provision there that says that they have to get it from outside of the country i think it's just like them trying to wanting to go negotiate down which would be deflationary uh cost to people um and as far as i'm concerned whatever taxes they want to levy against the wealthy which obviously manages to be against because well again he just paid by the wealthy and he's he himself is wealthy uh, that's not going to pay for shit. That's just going to bring the money back into government and just kind of it'll go away. It, 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 it's tax or liability that the government spends into the economy in order, in order to tax it back out. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's just that. It's just a, it's a way of provision. It's a way to provision of government. Um, anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to say as far as that part goes. Again, I only, I only see two ways. Uh, ranked choice voting or ranked choice uh, paper ballots and uh, open primaries or a fucking revolution. Only two ways about it as far as, I'm, as, far as I can see. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Be right back. Get out of here. <laughs> no, no. There we go. Hey, welcome to the show. Um, as I'm as I look through the news to both read it and talk about it afterwards, um, I look at what um, people who are in power do, what they vote against, they stop from happening, stuff of that nature, and it's, it continues to be the centrist, you know, the Republican, basically, uh, Joe Manchin, Cinema. Chuck Schumer should have gotten rid of his ass a long time ago, but um, I guess it's all about donations in regards to the Democratic Party. Um, because if you look, I'll kind of go back here. I was kind of, I was kind of trying to do something here. This is uh, Joe Manchin's unopened secret sort of thing. Uh, he gets the most out of, uh, what was it? Um, Go back here. <laughs> he gets most out of uh, coal mining, uh, 
uh, mining, natural gas, transmission and distribution, oil and gas, same alone tobacco. All those, all like them and pharmaceutical manufacturing. Um, they know that he won't vote against their interest. And in turn, they pay him interest, I guess you could say. Um, so yesterday I put on Twitter, when, so when are we going to start the revolution? Because unfortunately, uh, I see two ways out of this whole thing. And I hate to say it. Um, and the first one is, as far as I'm concerned, um, and some people may not look at their parties. I'm not suggesting third parties. What I'm suggesting is allowing parties that are currently registered as parties, political parties, to be able to run and get their message out. Um, a lot of people want to look at the UK yes, and uh, say that, you know, the Tories are fucked up and the Labors are pretty much the same as Republican or Democrat combined uh, there, which is true. Uh, but the electoral system is such that they allow multi-parties in. So at least multi-parties have the chance to, to, you know, take the message out. Uh, starting, you know, small and smaller communities and branching out. That's what, you know, I think that's what I think we need to do in regards to ranked choice voting, ranked choice paper ballots, um, open primaries. The only way other than actual revolution is get that going in every state as a ballot initiative. If you if you want to change anything about anything about anything, then you you have to do it state by state. Um, and all this foolishness about state by state Medicare for all, it's not Medicare for all at a federal level. Uh, requires federal spending, not taxation. Um, that's the reason why it didn't work in Vermont is because they didn't have enough, uh, you know, they didn't have enough population to be able to tax in order to be able to fund that. But at a federal level, it's it's spending first uh, and not taxing. So there's a big difference there, and they. Again, they wanted to uh, they wanted to name uh, uh, marijuana legalization. But I mean, if you, that's a, that is revenue coming in, not going out. So I don't see that as a compare a, a comparable comparison there. Um, would it would it be able to fund state by state? Maybe only in those states that where pot is legally, you know, recreational. Otherwise, you have the state controlling who gets what and how they get it. That sort of thing. That's not American for that, that's not a single payer health care. Um, so that's why it's better to do it at a at a federal level, uh, a national federal level, not a state by state federal level or state by state governmental level. Anyway, but uh. Yeah, that's what I mean. The second one is something I don't want to see because we shouldn't be in, we shouldn't be that in that way. But we're heading in that way, and that's a revolution. Now, how it pans out, that's up to the participants. Um, but if you look at what capitalism is, and you want to look at what socialism, communism, those at the very I mean, right now we are living in a very by definition of capitalism uh which is not good for the future uh, for the future of any human uh any chance of humanitarian um way of life um <sighs> joe manchin uh wants to wants to put the kibosh on a on the bill that would uh he says add to its deficits the deficit is a good thing because that means that more money is going into people's pockets. Um, but he doesn't want to do it because, I mean, if you see, uh, he's number one in coal mining. He has, like, I think his family is involved in coal mining. So there's no way. I mean, it, whomever put him in charge of that committee 
should be put away for treason was because they, they started that path as far as upward goes. And I know the word treason, I say it rarely, actually. I think I've said it maybe twice in the last few years I've actually been doing this. But I've also gone to try to explain what the very definition of the word treason, uh, treasure, um, um, treason, uh, treasonous, there we go, um, actions. And it's been nothing but treasonous for the past 40, 40, 50 years. Um, actually, pretty much, if you want to look at that, through ever since the signing of the, of the Constitution, I mean that was based on treasonous acts. If you want to look at a, at it, you know, at a case, you know, a, a person's rights, a person not being enslaved, stuff like that. Um, then it was written. I guess you, I guess you can say if you look at the history, if you look at history, and who's involved and what it, what has what community is is had impacted on. Um, it was built on treasonous action. So the United States, in a very big way, it seems, has a treasonous uh, history behind it. And it continues that tradition, unfortunately. Um, I, just so anybody really knows, I'm, I'm a socialist at heart, but I'm slowly turning something else that is not Republican, Democrat, or otherwise very left. But I'm not sure what it is because the word socialism is a very bad thing here in America because the way it's been tr uh, twisted and the, and the definition has been twisted and the AOCs and the whatever else you want to call it uh, has you know turned into... Um, I have tried to go by the very definition of the words uh, of the word socialism. Same thing with communism, because the, what we have what we, what we have had is the opposite of those things. They try to combine capitalism with socialism. You just get authoritarianism. There we go. Um, so I don't think we've actually had full-fledged, like, top of the line socialism or same thing with communism. Um, I think that because uh, so many people uh, took on the capitalist uh, system, uh, that allowed them to force other countries to go in that direction. We do, you know, through trade, through fin financial. Uh, things that nature, you know, the financial trade, I should say. Um, so yeah, capitalism um, shouldn't exist in its current form. Um, I think socialism, communism, uh, those would be the, the, I mean, if you go by the true definitions of those and not what these self-righteous bastards out there want to call socialism and communism who go online and you know I think they know what they what they're saying they know shit for shit that's the same thing with people who criticize monetary theory I'm I myself and it's I I, I look at uh, monetary theory as in I look at like the COVID-19 thing I as far as studying and really looking at the actual facts behind it and seeing what is real what's not real and not just Look, I get horse in the mouth sort of thing. I did a lot of due diligence, and YouTube actually um, they uh, punished me for that. Uh, almost took my my channel down because I wasn't saying what the corporate media was saying. I wasn't uh, doing what the government wanted people like myself to do. You know, as far as like you know, preaching their side of the story. I was looking at the NIH. I was looking at the very definitions of the spike protein. I was looking at um videos that were being that were being shown that were not mainstream uh in some cases i have repeated i i showed those same ones on the show so it's not like i you know, look at something and immediately follow i don't do that um but th that's that's just not what i am as far as that part goes and that's what not not what this show is so Anyway, that's pretty much what I got as far as the part goes. Um, 
get off your ass and go and get fucking ranked choice voting on you uh, in your state and open and open primaries and look at the, make open secrets your bible as far as po- politics goes if you have a weird feeling about someone look them up by the way if they have some connection with with you know regular politics that's not good if they have nothing but like you know a past in farming or you know pretty much anything that is non-political they, they didn't make politics their career take a i would say take a twice look at them it was that's what i gotta say as far as that part goes um thanks for listening thanks for watching yeah all i gotta say is get the ranchers voting and get the open primaries going in your state or this country is a fucking revolution I mean, a literal revolution. Take that as you want, as far as the park goes. I'm not saying violence. I'm not saying non-violence. Whatever. If they strike first, you have you had legal uh, you have legal right to strike back. Anyways, peace out for now. Personal retirement accounts is, a, is another way of making a, a future retiree benefits more secure for their retirement. And also, do you believe that personal retirement accounts as a component to a system of solvency does help improve solvency? Because if, when you have a personal retirement account policy, it, it's a company with a benefit offset. With that feature in place, do you believe that personal retirement accounts can help us achieve solvency for the system and make those future retiree benefits more secure? Well, I, I wouldn't say that the you go benefits are insecure in the sense that uh, there's nothing to prevent the federal government from creating as much money as it wants and giving it to somebody. The question is, how do you set up a system which assures that the real assets are created, which those benefits are employed to purchase?